Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. Today I want to give you guys the rare Tess highlight and the even rarer Leapfrogger highlight. They came together in a game that had me with two golden macaws and nearly a third golden macaw all of which had reborn. This really is a test exclusive that I had to highlight. Hope you enjoy it. I do Graybo if mechs are in, but mechs are not in. I do Gallowix if pirates and elementals are in, but they're not in. I guess we go Tess. I believe in your power. Oh, you now did have a VPN on. Okay, yeah. So... If the code is not working and you have a VPN on, just try to temporarily disable it. Good luck out there. I believe in you. Yeah, I'm playing Snap. Oh no. Well, don't let it get you down. Oh, wait, what did he have? Nah, nothing good. All right. You're unstoppable. We're freezing for the buy two play on turn five. Otherwise, I have to sell my starting card. Usually, it's not something I think is great. Found the best minions to fight by your side. We could do that. I don't know if I want to pump the rat. I think maybe not. You think I should pump the rat? It's like two or three health. Yeah, fine. Let's pump the rat, I guess. You're unstoppable. Oh, I don't think it's a terrible move. Maybe not ideal, but it's all right. Five Merlocks for beasts. 45 gold for smoking got on a 7 armor hero. Seems ridiculous to me. Two beasts. Fine. Stakes are made. I don't think it's bad to pump the rat there. With Tess, it's... Tess is not that good of a hero, but if you get a decent start, you can kind of get to that place where you're strong enough to steal other builds that are powerful enough. But if you're always behind your opponents, even though you're getting good cards, you just die, so... Don't give up! With the power of love, there's no way you can lose! Looking mighty orange. What? Yeah, I think anyway, my my shade is is okay, human-like. Not, not that orange. I knew you could do it. It may not be the most powerful minion on the field, but it's brave. I don't want to do this. It's a bit inefficient, but it should push the quest big time. I think a piece fell off my fridge. <laughs> the quest reward is two beasts, so this is going to have to be like a frog build. Pretty weak quest choices, but it is a build that can win at least. Keep it up, your minions are dependent on you. Oh, the counter moved up. They told me it should take like 24 hours to go through the confirmation stuff, but um, I'm right. Maybe 
next turn I could do it? Yeah, I think next turn I should be, should be too hard. I found the best minions to fight by your side. Actually, I kind of want to do this. That one has a pure heart. I can tell. We want to sell two? No. Not really. I don't know how long the HelloFresh code is active for. Uh, I'm doing uh, a second HelloFresh unboxing on Thursday, so I believe the code will be active. The promo will be active at least for the rest of the week. I'm guessing, but yeah. Um, but most likely it'll be on... Uh, a bit longer than that. Promo for Canada. Um, I don't know this time around, but last time I did a HelloFresh promo, I most places in Canada, can the code, which is designed for USA, did work as well. Let's go. You were great in that bat. Wait, that's pretty good. Can I double this level? Place needed a makeover. Yeah, actually, I can. You deserve better. Here, have a go. Mm. Anything worth yoinking? Like the demon stuff. The, um, I think the hyena is pretty bad here, actually. Try something like that. Good luck out there. I believe in you. Build for the upcoming league, something with chain explosions. Uh, uh, occultist, something. I don't know. I knew you could do it. Got a leapfrog. I don't know if I want to give it six health though. You deserve better. Here, have a goal. Air power? No. Is there anything more beautiful than this minion's loyalty? The shop is growing stronger with you. And wander kinetic blast. I think the easiest explosion is still gonna be a cultist, even though curses are a bit weak on regular monsters. I am not sure I can justify playing a cultist in ruthless mode though. The explosions are nice, but mm, don't seem really that worth it. He just signed up. Thank you, gonna Rambo. I hope, hope you like it. See what happens when you dress for success. Yes, I'm looking at playing Juggernaut Righteous Fire, but but differently. Did see a Baron there? 
I think that is worth stealing. Most definitely stealing. For justice. That minion will stick with you to the end. There's some good new recruits here. Don't let them get away. You deserve better. Here, have a go. The scourge will consume you. Need to sell the void? Uh, yeah, but next turn. Now, with that said, I think the cap for Juggernaut in terms of potential power is much higher than Inquisitor. So, I'm willing to try it. from Pox, yeah. But uh, I actually talked to Pox. He hasn't played Ruthless, so it doesn't apply that much. Yeah, but it really doesn't apply. I think Jug was already better in non-Ruthless. I think in Ruthless, Inquisitor was likely better, but I think the nerf tips it a little bit. We don't have mechs, right? We do not. Okay. There's some good new recruits here. Don't let them get away. Do I want Rat Pack? Let's see. I always forget like the ideal frog build because it just looks so weird. I don't know if I want two Rat Packs. Though. Definitely want two Barons. Oh, I that forgot to check. Do I want to steal any of your stuff? I do not. Whoa. <laughs> well, Inquisitor always does more damage, but I think in Ruthless you're going to be doing low tier content a lot. Ruthless is about, is about, like, doing it safe. The way that I think about it is, like, once you're like around level 90, because you're still gonna be doing yellow maps, Inquisitor is gonna clear maps like 20% faster. But I think the chance that Inquisitor dies is like 10 times higher. Once you have like a decent gear set on Juggernaut, like 20k plus armor, the Juggernaut is not gonna die in yellow maps. And I think that difference actually makes the Juggernaut level faster. Simply because you're never going to die. Um, and I think the Juggernaut in the very high end has much better boss bossing potential. So that's why I think I would go with Juggernaut. With that said, Juggernaut is going to be way harder to start out. But I'm working on a few tech choices to maybe alleviate that. At least that a little bit. A noble minion on your side. Bro, where's, where's my leapfroggers, man? What the hell is this? this minion's loyalty? You deserve better. Here, have a go. Nice. That Whoa. My children, I give you my blood. Maybe I should do that. This is a great look for you. Bro, 
very generous of you. Thank you for that. Did it just reborn a non-golden one, or was I just seeing things? Is he dead? I think I do 20, right? Yeah. Wow. Okay. You were great in that battle. Thank you. As a pure high, I can tell. There's some good new recruits here. Don't so let them get away. Proud. Okay. Couldn't be any cleaves. But... I'm kind of staying away from conventional melee builds because, um, the league mechanic seems to heavily punish it. Now, with that said, there are some melee builds that are very far from melee. Like, yeah, even even like Cleave, I think you could play Cleave just fine because it's, it's like ridiculous AOE at some points. But like, me like actual melee, like Bone Shatter melee, there's no chance. I think I think builds like that are gonna be really bad. So unlucky. out there I don't need any of that go hire one of those minions to join our team my sewer rat is better than rat pack do you think I should switch them level what would I be that leveling for make a triple That one's a work of art. Why, of course, I can take that one in. Here's a gold hook. Go hire one of those minions to join our team. For justice. You never said you can't block it. If you can't evade the league mechanic, you probably can't block the league mechanic, bro. It's your destiny to win this. I mean, okay, look, I guess we don't know for sure, but that's like some heavy copium. Like, if you're making a block-based character because you, you think you'll be able to block the league mechanic after they've disabled every other evasive mechanic from defenses, that's coping, man. That's some real coping. Okay. <laughs> Looks fun. And balanced. GG. 
Luigi not shaking up the meta by buffing skills of concern for the game for me? Yes. But Ruthless does change that completely, at least for a patch. Ah, oh, Lich King died. That is a problem. There's some good new recruits here. Don't let them get away. The most interesting actually I think we'll it. the most interesting stuff in Path of Exile comes with uh, fundamental class changes. What they did with Trickster, if you, if you re rebalanced, rebuffed, overhauled like six ascendancies, like is that is so cool, right? Like if they did that. Still win. Eighty nine, eighty nine, <laughs> them rookie numbers. <laughs> to live okay. you look, I mean you did amazing out there there's some good new recruits here don't let them get away Ooh. why of course I can take that one in here's a gold book one of those minions to join our team reborn the rat it's too hard to do that i can maybe try to do that if i triple it but i can't do that right now move baron maybe baron third yeah i guess i have more reborns now you're right, that wouldn't be expected. Yeah, but the thing is, I think I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I'm gonna swap the rats. Because if he taunts both the rats, I actually still lose. I know you can win this thing. Well, maybe not. I got a lot of parrots now. baby damage, right? Alright, Baron. You did your job. Look at that. It took double damage. You see? This is fair. Leapers to the moon, baby. Could not get accurate results. <laughs> 
I don't think I've ever seen that. <laughs> uh, Alright. Okay. Broke the add-on. Too good. <laughs>